Hello my growing buddies. So once again we are together at your own learning platform. Learn forward with your grammar book. The Grammar Hub for Grade 7 by Feather Cap. Today we are going to learn about the present tense in chapter 9 of your book. We have already learnt about tenses. What is present tense? How the verb is formed there? So what's more here? Do we have something new? Let's explore. Okay, we'll be doing present perfect tense. So in present perfect tense, what you have to remember is whenever there is perfect tense, we use some have form, whatever it will be, may it be in present, past or future, some have form with always the third form of verb. That's the basic thing you have to remember. So what's the structure here? This perfect tense, it indicates, what does it mean? It indicates an action that is just completed. That started in the past, but just now finished. And uh, more importantly, such an action has an impact on present also, right? So what's the structure? When you talk about affirmative sentences, have form with the third form of verb. So you use has or have depending on the subject. If your subject is singular, we use have. With all other subjects, we use have. And then the third form of verb. Like I have known him for a long time. When you have to make it negative because the helping verb have form is already there, you'll just add not to it. And it becomes has have, then not, then the third form of verb. Like I haven't known him for a long time. To make it interrogative, yes, you just pick up the helping verb first word before the subject. So has have, then subject and then third form of verb. Have I known him for a long time? And if you have to introduce a question word, it will be added just here before your helping verb and it becomes who have I known for a long time or how long have I known him, right? So this was about the verb structure in present perfect tense. But what are the uses of present perfect tense? That is also important to indicate a finished action that has its impact even at the present. Like Ankit has found his watch. So he's happy. He's using it to convey information or news like the Prime Minister has signed the nuclear deal with America. For repeated action till the present. An action which is repeated till the present time. Like I have listened to the song four times since this afternoon. So that action was repeated. And to indicate an action that started in the past and it is still not continuing but then it has an effect. I have always admired you. So I started admiring you some time back and I still admire you. So that is like an action which is repeated. Now we have an exercise fill in the blanks with present perfect form and it's so simple. Look at the subject use has or have and then the third form of verb. So Mrs. Aurora it's singular that means has hosted the party. Coming to next, the children, plural, have, so already finished, yes. And this is how you can just complete this exercise. Let's move to the next now. We'll be doing present perfect continuous tense. Perfect continuous. So perfect continuous means has have will also be there. The formation of perfect uh, verbs and tenses and then the formation of continuous. We'll just combine them. So how do you get has have? Then the third form of verb here that is be and the verb main verb will come in its ing form which is called the fourth form of verb here. It has been raining. Now present perfect continuous shows some action started in the past and it is continuing till the time of speaking also. So we normally use the words since or for to express the time, right? If it is a span given, we say for. If it's the starting time given, we say since. So it has been raining for quite some time. Next, when you want to make it negative, you already have the helping verb here. Just add not after the first word. So it will be she, uh, subject, has, have not, then been, and then the third form of verb. It hasn't been raining for long. 
when you talk about interrogatives you are helping verb first word has have will go in the beginning before the subject so has it been raining for long and you can also introduce a question word here where have you been going every day since last month so that is how you introduce a question word before the helping verb in the beginning now out of this since when has it been raining and for how long has it been raining you can just transform the sentence using a question word also next is what are the uses of present perfect continuous tense so it denotes the duration of an action that started sometime in the past and is still continuing like the police has been chasing the terrorist so that process is still going on for the last two months and the search is still on the police is chasing the terrorist in the area that means it is happening now it's not a long process it has not happened over a period of time it's happening now at the time when somebody is reporting about it to talk about an action that just ended that is hello rajan i have been looking for you and you know just when i met rajan my that process of looking for him ended right so this shows talking about an action that just ended because you are there at your search talking about the duration of an action till the time of speaking like he has been trying to reduce weight since last summer and since then the process is going on so it is basically for an action that started in the past and still continuing so we have an exercise here fill in the blanks with present perfect continuous form of the verbs given in bracket just to see whether has have what will you use here then been then ing simple so with she yes you will use has been playing she has been playing cricket for three hours she must be exhausted now my father again singular has been talking to his boss on phone since 8 pm so the time he started talking is given 8 pm and it is still continuing it's a long conversation over phone my grandmother again singular okay has been what has she been doing has been knitting for three hours so this is what grandmothers keep themselves busy in the, my younger sister oh that is again singular so we don't have any sentence with plural or for using have all of them have used have been and then ing form of verb here will be reading my younger sister has been reading the novel for one hour so wasn't that so simple yes with by learning the formations you can just go for the perfect answers. Now it's time to recall what we have learned about present tense. Tenses, what are tenses? These are the verb forms that denote time of action. Was that done in the past, time gone, the time now or the time to come. According to that, we have three tenses, present, past and future. Now present tense, that expresses an action in present time. And we have four subcategories, the simple present, simple past, uh, sorry, present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous simple present tense here we use ses with the verb only when your subject is singular and with all other subjects we use the first form of verb without ses coming to present continuous tense it is b form is rm in present and use ing verb with that this is used when we talk about an action which is going on at the time of speaking next is present perfect tense we learned about it that we use half form of the verb and then the third form of the main verb here right and present perfect tense is used when we talk about actions that happened in the past but they still have some effect on the present or for the actions just finished when you are reporting about them coming to present perfect continuous tense as the word suggests the action is continuous also that means in progress and we are talking about perfect along with it that means an action started in the past but it is still going on at the time of reporting about it and the structure goes like has have been and then the ing form of verb so this was all in nutshell about present tense and it's time for you to practice to perfect 
pick the correct answer. I dash just made some coffee. It's on the dining table. So what's the correct answer here? I have just, yes. Five girls of our class. We are talking about the plural subject, five girls, not class. Okay, remember that. So five girls of our class, did they select, selected, have been selected, has been selected or being selected? Have been selected, yes. Next, some people dash be difficult to work with. Some people are said to be difficult. Next, my mother dash is suffering from fever for four weeks. So, which tense are you using? Will you be using here? My mother has been suffering and she's still in hospital. That means present perfect continuous tense is used here. Coming to next. Using the question words given in the brackets. Can you see we have the question words here? And taking help from the words printed in bold here. Like in the first sentence, these are the bold words. You have to frame questions to which the following sentences can be the answers. Like the first one says, he needs some food to eat. And the question says, what? So, starting with the question word first, see what is the tense here? Simple present. Good. So, what will be the helping verb there? Does, what does he need? Right? Because we take the helping verb before the subject here. This customer wants a pair of white shoes. And again, your question word is what? So, what will be your question? You have to replace this. This, way, this is the clue for you. So, what? Again, simple present tense wants. So, your helping verb will be what does. And then your subject. What does this customer Now, because you have already used SES with the helping verb, the main verb will come without SES. So, what does this customer want? Right? Let's move to the next. Rubber trees grow in Malaysia. So, Malaysia is the highlighted word and the question word is where. Malaysia gives an answer to your question where. So, your question will be, come on, say that. Yes, where. Now here we are talking about rubber trees which is plural. So your helping verb will be good. Do. Where do rubber trees grow? Perfect answer. And what you have to remember, we are writing interrogative sentences. So don't forget to put a question mark at the end students. Next, Mrs. Jan treats her guests very cordially. Can you give the answer now? Your question word is how? Yes, come up. How does good? Yes, Mrs. Jan. Treat. Very good. I was just waiting for this perfect verb here. How does Mrs. Jan treat her guests? This is the perfect answer. Yes, let's write the fifth one here. So, that says Anil respects truthful people and your answer is truthful people. You have to start the question with whom. Yes, whom does Anil respect perfect? Question mark. That means you have understood the formation here very well. The evening show begins at 6.30 p.m. And the question word is when. Come on, quickly come up with your answer. When? Yes, when does the perfect evening show begin? Yes, you are right there. So, that's an applaud for your perfect answers. And... This was all in present tense. So you just need to practice. Practice more of the exercises and you will go perfect in it. We will be coming up with more interesting sessions in grammar with Minnie. Till then, happy learning children.